Hey, it's Jacob from Go Industrial. I hope you're all doing very well. Here I present to you the Graco ES1000, which is one of the newer generation of the electric driven line marking machines. And it's a really exciting step forward for the line marking industry as a whole to start that transition to electric driven. It has many advantages, mainly, especially like a one gun unit like this, which a lot of companies are taking their line marking services in house. They're very easy to operate. They're definitely built around the user. So try and take all the levels of complexity out of it. Um, but namely, electric driven is fantastic for indoor striping. Um, so that could be any warehouse lines, could be inside of small businesses, parking lots. No fumes from a petrol driven motor is just a huge plus when it comes to any risks associated with interior lining. Um, electric driven also has a heap of advantages with regulating the dead bands and pressure. So when an operator is pulling the trigger to stripe a line, the actual build back up to pressure, which often can introduce some pulsation when you're spraying, the electric driven machine can counteract that quite effectively with some smarts from Graco and really give you a nice consistent fan when you're putting down lines. It takes a lot of user error out of it and it just means a one gun unit like this can be used by basically anyone, which you'll see in this demo of us out at site. So we're pretty excited. This kit here has a single battery. We actually have a second battery kit available, but in the ES1000, it is an entry level striping unit and it is designed for those one gun applications for private car parks and warehouse lighting. So enjoy the video, any questions, hit us up in the comments. Let's roll the footage. heaviest okay. speed there so it'll run as fast as it can go just to jolt any of the stuck paint yes. out um, just below that you've got primes yep. which I'll show you just runs it as at the slowest slowest setting possible yep. does take a little bit of time to prime through but as you can see with the with the water in there it does come out so it will take a little bit of time to get the paint through. You can rush, you can rush it. Just don't work it too high. But then obviously, you'll hear the paint start to come through and then just turn it down. And then that's the paint coming through there now. So you don't need to prime much, it's just to get straight paint running. Like that. You can turn it to spray, so then at this stage it's primed through to the pump. Yep. So now you can throw the rest of that in there. So now it's in spray. You build it up and run it. Hold the trigger just to get the paint through. is a hose that's just getting flushed out now. You only have to jog it at a low pressure on here just to get it all moving through. Yeah, so in this step, if you had kept your tip in, that would you'd be there for quite a while waiting for it to go through because obviously it's restricting the amount of flow. At this point, you can now suss out what pressure you need to atomize the paint correctly and get the, the line. So it's usually at about... So there's still a bit of water in the line at the moment. And then the faster you move, the skinnier the line as well. The other thing to keep in mind too, we've given you two size tips. So they've got three numbers. So the first number when you double up, that's your fan width in inches. Again, we'll put this all on to make it easier. But basically the lower pressure you start is the minimum width the fan has up to its maximum size is the highest pressure. So this 319 gives you a six inch fan, which is pretty standard for all your car park lines. Okay. And then 
run for a little bit. What he's doing here is, is we don't need to paint anymore. So we're actually gonna swap that entire drum out on the system for a clean bucket of water. The more paint we can get off the suction tube. Now at this point, you can take this off. Yeah, so that's a strainer. strainer. I was talking about. So that just screws off. Just give it a bit more of a rinse through. And then, it's just safer to have that strainer off. So then we'll do the same again, except we're gonna go clean water into dirty water. So yeah, that main suction tube obviously is gonna suck it up and then it'll always drain out the smaller drain tube. So to prime in this step, put the prime switch down. Pressure only really low. And then same, same again. See how that's going a lot clearer. You've got four litres to start. I'll probably just climb a little bit straight. The suction tube in the pump armour doesn't need to be in that drain tube because we're just going to prime it until the blue fluid's running out that smaller drain tube. Uh, see how it's coming through straight? As soon as you know it's draining straight, you know it's in the pump. Just in there, and just it's just a couple of drops that'll run down into, you might see a little bit of leaking. You'll see it around here, it'll drip out into here or in behind. So we're all done this morning. All went well. Got some lines cleaned up. Let's go back to go.